So Demetrius talks a lot about being able to charge from the sun, right? We can at Solar Edge empirically show that you are charging your car from clean, renewable solar energy. That is fantastic. I mean, if we leave the inverter at the default 32 amp charging, uh, that means you can draw 32 amps from the grid at a maximum, or if you're drawing 32 amps from the grid and we have a mode called solar boost mode, you're drawing 32 from the grid, the sun is up, you can draw an additional eight amps to charge your car from solar, uh, we could do that. We call that solar boost mode. And many people came to us and said, well, I want to be able to charge my car at 40 amps at night. So how do I do that? So we made the inverter uh, capable of charging at 40 amps during the night. And again, being that pass through load. So to switch it from the factory default, you just got to flip this little dip switch in the on position. Okay, so the, there's two dip switches. The 3600, excuse me, the 3800 has a default uh, setting of 16 amps. So both of them are off. And if you turn both of the switches on, then you can drop to 40 amps. Now I had a customer in Southern California talk about, uh, he was in a 100 amp service entrance and his inspector didn't allow that. And the, the biggest reason I can think of why that would be is, is not because of the back feeding breaker sizing, but it's because of the load you're drawing from the grid when you're charging at 40 amps. So this customer also had an electric water heater and a pool pump and his service entrance was overloaded. So you have to consider the size of the feeders. And again, I know we don't uh, talk about doing load calculations, but if you're in a small service entrance, that's one thing to consider. Are you, are you able to draw that much current at once? For additional information and access to more in-depth tutorials, Go to SolarEdge.com, select Login and eLearning to get access to the library of SolarEdge learning materials.